How's it going guys? My name is Jared Ace and welcome back to Money Met Ace. An aspect of a company often overlooked by retail investors and newcomers to the market is the leadership of the company. It is certainly something that I didn't pay too much attention to in my earlier numbers only investing approach. But how can you invest in a company when you can't trust the management? These are the ladies and gentlemen who are supposed to not only safeguard your money, but grow it through the growth of their business through implementing the plans that they themselves have set out. Your ability to trust them is vital. Before we go any further, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons and share this video with at least one person. This video is meant for edutainment purposes only and is only my opinion. One management team I simply do not trust is that of Labatt. Brian van Royen has been the CEO of the company since inception in 1995 and the company has shifted industries more often than the average person changes underpants. That in itself is not a bad thing, but hearing just how large the expected profits were that the company was expecting from the shift to cannabis, an industry which really actually doesn't make too much investing sense in my opinion since there's virtually no barrier to entry and no ability to have a substantial moat, makes it all a bit pie in the sky to me and even the strongest supporters of cannabis would have had shivers sent down their spines at the thought of cannabis-infused biltong, one of the products mentioned by Brian, although it may have just been an offhand comment and may have just been an example of what he could do, it stuck with me because anything infused with biltong is sacrilegious, don't touch my biltong, leave my biltong alone. But this is not a commentary on cannabis, nor is it a comment on Labatt's constant chopping and changing of industries. If anything, their ability to change and adapt is uh, something to be admired. But something I simply cannot admire nor forgive is the frequency with which this company has been in the news for missing financial reporting deadlines set by the JSE. Labatt has until the end of January to submit their financials to the JSE or risk being suspended. Now, a single missed reporting deadline isn't great or ideal, but sometimes stuff happens. Signia was also in hot water last year for late reporting, but this is the second time in a row that Labatt has missed the deadline. The second time in a row. They also had a qualified audit in 2019, and despite the fact that qualified sounds like a good thing, qualified audits are in fact the complete opposite. It's one of those misleading financial names like a tax-free savings account, which is actually not a savings account at all. If Labatt misses the January 31st deadline for submission, it will actually not be the first time that this company has had trading suspended, being suspended in 2005 for the exact same reason. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on, shame on the other guy. Perhaps a leopard really can't change its spots. Now trust in the management of a company is, in my opinion, more important than what the company can potentially offer. If Brian van Royen is promising a billion rand in profit from sales of cannabis, but can't have his financials ready in time when he's had over six months to prepare them, how can I trust that that billion rand will ever actually materialize? Now, you could argue that the company has just listed on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange and you wouldn't necessarily have the whole six months to prepare for one reporting period and that the company has raised 300 million rand in the last month and those might be valid points. But if this company has a history of struggling to keep up with the regulatory requirements of one listing, how on earth... Are they going to cope with the requirements for two? Anyway, that's just my two cents on the matter. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Also, be sure to follow Money Met Aish on Instagram for weekly portfolio updates and updates on when the Money Met Aish Patreon will be going live. It is soon, I promise, so just stay tuned. Thank you and have a great day.